Boys, you already know what time it is. We got a package. Ooh, and it's another sexy package from David Silva. Yes. <laughs> it's time to close. It's time to open the box. Pretty decent display, I guess. Peak. Yummy. Sex. In the shipping label. But I don't need it. At least I hope I don't. Alright, so these guys are still just as good as last time, except this guy's head can come off a little bit too easily, but, eh, as long as I'm careful with it, I shouldn't have to worry too much. Anyways, let's review this GIT th GITD 3-pack. Teratophonius, I'm sorry, but you're reserved for last. You probably can't see it because of the light, but, uh, those jaw looks a bit warped. What's up you guys, so today we're going to be doing a tour review on something that doesn't really have any reviews on YouTube, other than Bionicle Source, so just, so props to Bionicle Source for actually reviewing this thing, but today we're going to be doing a tour review on the Beast of Mesozoic 118th scale Velociraptor Protoceratops and Psittacosaurus, which are all glow-in-the-dark as a homage to all the glow-in-the-dark toys from the early... 90s or whatnot, or as I like to call the GIDT three pack, because well, I mean, there's three of them in here and they all come together, so makes sense to call it a GITT GITD three pack. But anyways, the box is kind of basic in terms of things, as we got the sand over here to make it look like make it look vintage. Sort of. We have the species names, glow and dark, dinosaurs, pieces of the Mesozoic. We have the side where you can see the Psittacosaurus. We have the back where all where you can see all them glowing in them together. Unfortunately they they do all glow green, which I mean I kinda wish that David made them glow different colors depending on what color they are, like the raptor glowing red and the protoceratops blowing through and you know, etc. But, um, yeah. Dancers will glow in the dark after being exposed to light. Which includes three action figures, each with a collectible art card and one background insert. Which, I hope they come with their extra legs, because there are certain ways I want to pose these figures. And let's just cut one piece of tape off, and then another piece of tape, which is right here. And yet another piece of tape. So we open the door. That's what I'm gonna call it. We can pull this out. Ah uh, yes, perfectly packaged. Let's just do the Velociraptor first. We're gonna go in consecutive order. So we're going to start off with the Velociraptor, the one that is, eh, the least anticipated for, for me at least. Which I'm just going to cut it out of the little thing because I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with all that. So let's just cut this off. So hopefully it will come off. Nope. So, I'm just going to cut all these little pieces of tape, because okay, so 
that didn't work. I don't know what will. Creepers, creepers. None of this is working. Am I supposed to take it out? I mean, am I supposed to strictly pull off the tape or what? Okay, this one's gonna do. Alrighty. The Velociraptor has has escaped successfully. Now I just need to make sure he works functionally, and he does so far. Wings and tail. And the feet are, for some reason, feel better on this particular one than the others. And real quick, I will be right back. Before I do that, let's just get this open, because why not? Forget this. We got the base with instructiones. We got interchangeable legs and a base along with a rod. And a couple of interchangeable clips, which we, which I need to remember. Well, let's just take a look at the card real quick. So here's the Velociraptor Mongoliensis, Swift Robber, A110A specifically. Length is up to two meters long. It was found in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, North China as well. It lived during the late Cretaceous period around 71 million years ago, and it was named by Henry Far Fairfield Osborne back in 1924. So, it's a little bit of material right here. Anyways, I'll be back momentarily. Alrighty, I'm back and I have swapped out the legs. And this figure actually looks quite decent in person. The art on the, the art on the other hand, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look good at all. I'm just gonna be blatantly honest. This art doesn't look good. But I mean, we got the Velociraptor Director at least. So yeah, you may have seen a whole bunch of other reviews for the articulated 118th scale figures in terms of the BOTM figures. In case you haven't, I'm not going to be an asshole and and just skip through the articulation. I'm just going to show you guys. So for articulation, the raptor's mouth can open and close. Head is on a ball joint. And so is the neck. The arms can rotate a full 360 and spread from the body. The elbows can move up and down, so can the wrists. There's a torso, there's torso articulation. Legs can move and rotate a full 360. The knees can move and rotate a full 360. The ankles nor feet can. Cannot. And the tail is on a ball joint. And unfortunately, there is no wire in here because these figures are incredibly small. Now let's get this figure onto the actual base, shall we? So let's just... Pop that in there. Uh, okay, hold on. Well, that works, I guess. Alrighty, guys, so next step for, m for the three pack and for my most, an and for my personally most anticipated one, the Protoceratops. So let me just screw my X Acto knife real quick and I just, let's just get it to work. Come on, baby. We can do this. Yes, we got it. <laughs> Roach is like, oh, I got caught. And let's take this figure's accessories out. Oh dear, I'm bending the card. Eh, who cares about the cards anyway? And there are all those accessories. Some more legs, a, an, an instruction booklet, the Pacific Asaurus this time. And a card for the Pacific Asaurus. 
So here we have Protoceratops and Druzy, first horned face. It was about 1.8 meters long and was found in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. It also lived in the late Cretaceous period and 71 million years ago. And it was named by W. Granger and W. Gregory back in 1923, a whole year before Velociraptor was discovered. So let's just assess the Protoceratops. For some reason, this one's head articulation is a lot better than my Hellenic Orinus's head. which was a bit loose for my comfort. Okay, so. The articulation is pretty good on this figure and I'm, and I'm not going to lie. We don't want its mouth to open too far. Alrighty, and this figure is actually pretty good. I really like it, honestly. So yeah, the colors on it look pretty nice, surprisingly. And overall, it's just, it looks pretty good. Yara, on the other hand, is a, lot, is a bit more decent than the Velociraptor, but Eh, still. I mean, besides, who really cares about the collector cards apart from whoever paints them? Or whoever does the art, I'm sorry, but the art's just not that good. Alrighty, so for some articulation, the Protoceratops' mouth can open and close. The head is on a ball joint and can go up and down and left and right. Torso is on a ball joint and so is the tail. Arms are also on a ball joint and can move and rotate a full 360. Elbows can move and rotate a full 360. Knees can move and rotate a full 360, so can the legs. And that's about it for this figure. Which, let's plug this guy into its base. And bam. And uh, alrighty. And now it's time for the last figure in this in this three pack, and for my personal least anticipated one, the Psittacosaurus, which we are going to break out of its prison right now. So we just we just. Ooh. Alrighty. Oh, I'm just dropping things. And now here we have the card, which for, and now we have all of its accessories, which includes the card, which for some reason the the card, the figure on the card looks a lot better than the actual figure in person, and I don't know how to explain myself, so don't ask. Maybe if they use like a lighter shade of yellow with some added green, maybe it would look a little bit better. But then again. These are meant to be based off of the glow in the dark dinosaurs, which I'm assuming were pretty cheap back in the day. So, yeah, what would I expect? Anyway, so let's just take it out of the bag. I really shouldn't do that. I, mean, I just need to. Alright, so. Somehow I got the, oh, it's unanimous to all Ceratopsians, I guess. So here we have the card with better art this time. Cynicosaurus mongoliensis, the parrot lizard. So it was about 2 meters long or 6.5 feet. It was found in Mongolia, China, and Siberia, so basically Asia. And it was... And it lived during the early Cretaceous about 101 million years ago, and it was named by the same guy who named the Velociraptor, Henry Fairfield Osborne, back in 1923 this time. But anyways, I'll be right back again. And here we have the Psittacosaurus. And again, like the Velociraptor, it, well, it only looks slightly better in person than the Velociraptor. 
it still looks kind of odd. But, um, yeah, for some articulation, the figure's mouth can open and close. The head is on a ball joint. And so is the neck. The arms can rotate a full 360 and go all over the place because, again, the arms are on a ball joint. The torso is also on a ball joint. This one actually has the second best out of them all. The first best goes to the Velociraptor. Let's just move that. Legs are on a ball joint again. It can do whatever. Knees are on a very tight hinge joint, which are still very tight even after heating them up with a hair dryer. At least that one is. I don't know about this one. Yeah, that one's easier to move. And the tail is also on a ball joint. And um, that's about it for the articulation for the Psittacosaurus. And now let's test to see how well they glow in the dark. So um, I will be right back once again. So um, yeah, for a glow test, they actually glow, gl they actually glow kind of well. I only held them up there for about like 30 seconds or so. But um, yeah, they glow pretty decently for the most part. And the glowing effect is already wearing off, so I'll be right back. And if anyone comments about how many times I said I'll be right back in a moment, I will personally pin the comment. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.